There are four types of AI that represent the evolution of artificial intelligence technology. And no, they are not all trying to take over the world and enslave humanity. Well, not yet, at least. So what are these four types of AI and how do they differ from each other? The first type of AI is called reactive machines, representing the most basic form of AI and they've been around for quite a while. These machines are built to perform a single specific task and don't have the capability to learn from past experiences. They operate based on predetermined rules and respond to current situations, but that's about it. Take Deep Blue, the chess playing computer developed by IBM, for example. In 1997, it defeated world champion Gary Kasparov off by analyzing a multitude of possible moves and choosing the best ones. However, it didn't actually comprehend the game of chess or even understand why it was playing. It just followed its programming. Similarly, it couldn't use past games as learning experiences to improve its performance. Another example is the Netflix recommendation system. This algorithm suggests movies and shows for you to watch based on your viewing history and what similar users have enjoyed. But it doesn't actually get why you enjoy certain shows or have any understanding of the content itself. The second type of AI is called limited memory. These are AI systems that can use past data to make decisions, but they do not learn from it in a meaningful way. They can store some information temporarily and use it for a short period of time, but they do not update their knowledge base or change their behavior based on it. A common example of a limited memory AI is a self-driving car. These vehicles can scan the environment for road conditions, other cars, traffic signs, and pedestrians to make real-time decisions. They can even tap into historical data like speed limits, traffic trends, and maps to better plan their routes and dodge obstacles. However, these cars don't learn from their own actions or experiences. What sets limited memory AI apart is its ability to adapt to new information. While it can handle intricate situations, it's not capable of reasoning or explaining why it took a particular course of action. The third type of AI is called theory of mind. This is a theoretical type of AI that does not exist yet, but researchers are working hard to make it a reality. Theory of mind AI would be able to understand the emotions, thoughts, intentions, and beliefs of other intelligent entities, such as humans and animals. It could know why people do things and even guess what they'll do next. This new AI could be really helpful in a lot of areas like helping take care of people, teaching, making games more fun, making deals, and in robots that you could have a real conversation with. But making this kind of AI is really hard. It's not just about being good at understanding words or seeing things. It also has to understand how people think and feel, which involves knowing a lot about subjects like psychology and philosophy. Some people might say that current AI models like GPT-4 are close to this, but honestly, they're not there yet. The fourth and final type of AI is called self-aware AI. This would be the ultimate form of AI that would possess self-awareness and a deep understanding of their own existence. Self-aware AI would not only be aware of the emotions and mental states of others, but also their own. They would have a sense of self-identity, purpose, and meaning. Self-aware AI would be able to create their own goals and values and pursue them autonomously. They would also be able to reflect on their own actions and experiences and learn from them in a profound way and even question themselves and others and challenge their own assumptions and beliefs. It would be the most powerful and intelligent form of AI imaginable, but it would also be the most unpredictable and dangerous one. If we used it in healthcare, politics, or the military, it's hard to say what it would do or want. We don't know if it would work with us or against us, or how it would feel about humans. But if self-aware AI becomes real one day, we'll have to deal with these questions. For now, though, we can only guess what might happen. It's actually amazing how far we've come. But what's next? How will this affect us and the world? Do you think machines can ever be self-aware? Leave your thoughts below, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for more on AI. Thanks for watching. This is AI Girl, signing off. Go.